Puneet, if I can bring you in, you're an international star. But it wasn't always like that. You you were from the from from Delhi. You lived in Surajkund. Uh, your family wasn't well off. You paid five thousand rupees as rent. It was a struggle all the way. Can you talk about those early years and what it took to get to this point for you? You know, uh, thank you uh, everyone for being here. But I really uh, have to say, I think it's still not easy. You know, yeah, I'm glad uh, you're saying that because we're talking as if everything yeah. just been solved in this yeah, Me Too moment inflection point where all. the battle just begun. Not at all. I think uh, each one of my movies, each one of my work of, because I was so not allowed, um, not, not morally or nothing, just like I used to not get a green light for everything I would propose. And that kind of forced me to find ways around the world that kind of forced me to ask questions on how do I go tell these stories hmm. uh, and and uh, I and I started traveling and I started going to festivals figuring it out asking more questions being more aware and that's what led to an awareness that there is a world of financing movies around the world I've, I've done a lot out of desperation my career is out of desperation what's the most desperate thing you've done I put up a post on Facebook saying I need one crore and I need 10 friends to give me 10 lakhs each and I went and made a movie. Uh, did they give the money? I need yeah, to do this yeah. Facebook post tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they did and, this, th and, and at this point of time there were no concept, there was no concept of crowdfunding, hmm. there was no concept of laws of doing this stuff uh, or income tax, I mean who cares. Uh, I just wanted to go make that movie and then that movie went to Cannes, Toronto and I still struggle with the release of it. It's been a while. so. It's it's like my entire career is reverse engineered. Oh, Can likes her, so we should also preach shade yeah. her. Oh, Variety covered her, so we should write about her. You need to get the Gora approval and then get the all DC the time, approval. all the time, all the time, and even now it's uh, even now it's like I'm written off. Are she's art house? Are what how is it, is, it boils my blood when, you know, when... But the films are fantastic. Lunchbox, lunchbox you yeah, know, lunchbox Gangs of Vasyapur, Masan, lunchbox Yellow Boots. More I mean, they're great, great movies. Shahid, Shaitan. Shahid, one of my favorite uh, films, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dasvidaniya before that. I mean, I'm just like, I'm always aghast at these conversations saying, oh, I'm written off as film festival and I'm written off as somebody art house. <laughs> Were uh, you written off also because you're female? Maybe, I'm sure, like, I think articulation of that also was not there. Hmm. That uh, language didn't exist to even express yeah. the sexism. <laughs> about what, uh, I mean, you know, it's in the book, which hopefully you all will read, but can you talk about what you did in the early days to be taken seriously? Yeah, so I colored my hair white, wore a sari. <laughs> is, this, is this still that or is this your No, this is now real, now <laughs> life has happened. <laughs> I colored my hair white, wore a sari, because I was 26 years old producing Gangs of Vasipur. And everybody would just write me off. And, and I could see dismiss. I, I could see dismiss happening, like just my point. I used to text messages to um, my, my, my director colleague, Anurag Kashyap. I used to text him messages because if he would put a point, it would be taken across. Yeah. You know, if I would put it, it would be dismissed. So, oh, yeah. what what made you stay the course? Because there is a point, and you know, there it's in the chapter. You went through personal turmoil. There was a time when Anurag Kashyap shuts down the company. You are then embrace spirituality. You find a guru whom you sort of draw solace from. Everybody finds their own gurus, literal or metaphorical, right? But what makes you stay the course? You know, initially, uh, I didn't know any better. I started here, I started as an intern here in Delhi in, in international films. I didn't know anything else. That's all I knew was to produce and to make movies and be in this industry. Uh, what makes me still stay here is uh, I genuinely love doing what I do. I genuinely love seeing the movies. That one minute of your work being shown on a big, on a screen or on people seeing it, so that, that high or that, I mean, I, I don't aspire for big houses, cars, that's not an aspiration. Mm. I think my aspiration is to tell these stories and my education and my language has now widened with an exposure around the world and it is more important for me to be around. So, so I'm on a mission. 
good stay on that mission but should but the oscar to india yeah, yeah. <laughs> the oscar to india should is is the country's mission but your personal mission is almost more important i just want to ask you one other thing that gayatri and malika detail in the chapter on you and i think this is something that all professional women have gone through this thing of not being able to be uh the drinks buddy with the boss uh to not smoke be able buddy. to do the cigarette break yeah. that's something you talk you're like i'm so jealous of people who smoke because i can't do that right but they go close their deals in that smoking thing and i'm just like it's suffocating to be there smoke come back let's talk yeah. you know <laughs> we're sitting here to talk about that so i don't get what happened in the smoking i've never attended it so yeah